You know, what we believe about the past is tremendously important in shaping how we see ourselves, how we see other people, and how we relate to them. So this issue of what we believe about the past is fundamental to what we might call our world view. The history of time I'm going to share with you this afternoon to paint the big picture of this issue is based on this book, God's Word, the Bible. And I want to take you on something of a journey through the opening chapters of this book and to unpack for you what actually happened in the past. And by the way, I promise that this won't take millions of years. Now, if we allow belief in the millions and millions of years to enter into our understanding of, of past history and time, then it's like doing this. We take that top left-hand corner out of the picture. But can you see what's happened? Now, death, disease and suffering are an integral part of the world which God must have created. That means, folks, that when something bad happens, like a child dies of cancer or a natural disaster kills many, many innocent people, then we would be justified in shaking our fists at God and saying, why did you do that? But you see, it's not like that at all, is it? The Bible reveals God as loving, compassionate, slow to anger. He's not capricious. He's not malevolent and intent on harming us. You see, the millions and millions of years idea corrupts our concept of God. My friends, we need to put that top left-hand corner back into our understanding, and that is what we find in the opening chapters of the book of Genesis. Genesis. 